Hey there, Paul Wagler here for Arise Now on the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, I got this song going around in my head the last few days because a couple days ago, Angie and I were watching uh, a YouTube uh, playlist of worship music and one of the songs that was being sung was a song, I think the title is Surrounded. And it's a worship song that basically has mostly just two lines. Uh, it goes uh, something like this. Um, uh, this is how I fight my battles. And they sing that over and over and then they say it may look like I'm surrounded but I'm surrounded by you well that comes from a story in 2nd Kings chapter 6 verses 8 to 23 and you should really read the whole story there to check it out it's quite intriguing so Elisha um, it was the prophet in Israel at the time and Israel was at war with the Arameans and the, so every time the king of Aram made a move of how he was going to uh, attack, uh, Elisha um, heard through the Holy Spirit telling him, uh, the Spirit of God would tell him what the next move would be and he'd tell the king of Israel. And so they were always ready. And the king was like, who is telling these people what I'm gonna do? Who is like leaking the information? And then and then they said to the king of Aram, they said, well, there's there's a prophet over there and he listens what you speak in your bedroom or he knows what you're speaking in your bedroom, which is kind of an interesting thought. So the king set out to capture Elisha and he came with all of his men and uh, a large group of them and surrounded uh, Elisha and his servant. And so uh, their Elisha's servant got up and looked out and saw that they were surrounded. And Elisha just said, it's okay. Uh, there's more of us than there are of them. And the servant was like, you're nuts. I don't see. All I see is them. And then Elisha prayed, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. And all of a sudden the servant's eyes were opened and he saw the, the horses and the, and the chariots of fire that were surrounding this other army. And then he was like, oh, that's what he means. So it may look like I'm surrounded but we're surrounded by you. That's where the, the words from the song come. And you know, it got me thinking about how we fight our battles. How do we engage in the, in, the, in the battles that we face, you know, on a daily basis? Do we try to go at them from our human wisdom and from our own perspective? Well, the scripture clearly tells us that we should trust in the Lord. And that's one example. Another is like the story of Gideon, how he fought his battle and Joshua and the and the walls of Jericho and if you you know look up those and check out those stories and even if you look in the New Testament uh, Jesus taught you know very different ways to fight battles he said love your enemies pray for those who persecute you he said turn the other cheek go the extra mile it was different ways in dealing with uh, conflict and dealing with obstacles that come our way than what we would think of humanly speaking. And so, so that is what I want to encourage you today. Whatever it is you're facing, whatever obstacle, whatever battle, whatever struggle, whatever uh, it is that you need to overcome, I want you to call out to the Lord and to ask him for the strategy and to get his perspective so that you can see that even though it may feel like we are surrounded, that we are surrounded by the Lord and he will see us through as we trust in him because he will fight the battles for us. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Let it build your faith and let, uh, let, let courage rise up in you because you know that the Lord is with you. And if he is with you, who can be against you? Well, a few things for you to think about. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.